I would go like that. Start rubbing your hands just like that. All right. You feel the heat? Yep. Okay. For now. Stick them down your pants. So now, <laughs> so now you're going to start going faster and faster, and then you're going to all of a sudden just get excited. Get excited. <laughs> Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> What's up, everybody? All right. Happy Wednesday. That's right. Okay. Episode. We got episode 23 of El Pinchi Podcast. And today we have Nick Taranta. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, no, that's how you say it. That sounds really? good. Yeah, you like that? that? Taranta. Taranta. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, don't make, I don't add like the rolling R, but I love it. it Taranta. <laughs> Is that Italian? Uh, so it is Italian. It's also uh, Portuguese. So it's like a cool. Taranta. Yeah. Taranta. <laughs> Taranta. That's why I asked. Hey, yeah. How do you say it? Like, yeah. Taranta. Taranta. Hey. Hey. Oh, Taranta. <laughs> That's a sexy name. This is actually not my name. That was name. probably the best intro we've had. <laughs> oh, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. Yeah, we got yeah, we'll to get that. To that. That's funny. I took the name. <laughs> I killed someone for it, actually. My old lady. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our episode. <laughs> but, um, bum, bum. So, today we have Nick. He is an entrepreneur, rock star, jujitsu, jujuitero. Did I say did I say entrepreneur? You, you did yeah. say entrepreneur. I yeah. did. He just launched his <laughs> uh designer line. as well. Designer, designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a whole yeah. the whole enchilada. Jack of all trades, really. Jack. Honestly. Hey, high five Jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I was about to try to do that saying uh, Jack of all trades is better than one, mm, but better uh, than none of I, one. Wow, you yeah, I, that. I, I, <laughs> Jack of all trades is better than a master <laughs> of uh, one, but a ma- uh, oh, no, master of none. A master of none. Yeah. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> but there's actually like a longer saying to it. I yeah. forget yeah. what it is. Yeah, but Joe, uh, <laughs> Joe, what is it? It's probably from your time. Um, it, there's <laughs> jack of all trades. It's be, it's better be a master of one than a jack of all trades, something like that. But you guys said it so many different ways, and I'm doubting myself. Es un maestro, okay? Sí, sí. Pelipino. Oh, we'll get into some the tabo. The tabo. tabo. Do you know what a tabo is? It, I don't. Oh. What is that? We'll, we'll it's delicious. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll, we'll Cheers. Get into <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll. Co- We'll get to it. <laughs> we'll continue with the intro in a bit, but a tabo is um, we'll it's get into it. the greatest, most amazing contribution from the Filipino I culture to the world, to, to society, I to the universe. Wow. That that sounds sounds delicious. Fast. delicious. It's called Jack of All Trades, <laughs> Master of None. Yeah. Master of None. Yes. Oh. That's where our. But is better than one. <laughs> or well, something like th- that. Yeah, if you want to go there. But yeah, mm. that's all right. <laughs> no. No, there's, a, there's a longer one. Yeah, you can there look it up is, when you have a chance. Hey, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie when, you get a chance, when you get a chance. <laughs> pull it up. What pull is it this? Up. Pull oh, it up. What am I pulling up? Uh, am I pulling up? Master of One is a jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this, this, this is going to be a 20 minute topic of the whole episode. We still have that We still have the intro to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I forgot. He'll get it. He'll get it. He'll get it. Jack of all trades. Sing. Saying? Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah. The saying. Oh, wait, it's right there. A jack of all trades. Oh, right there. A Where am I? Oh. Image. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, oh no, right no, there, right there. there. A jack of all trades is a master of none, but often better than a master of one. Yeah. There you go. See that? See that? There you That's go. amazing. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Finally. We got There's that. finally a poster for us. We figured we got, it out. Gosh, how many you know who created it? Jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, right? But yeah. I mean, look, look, look at the simple graphic design on that. Yeah. Why do they call it Jack? I would, I would, like I would do so. Like the I background. Here, here's an idea for design. Yeah. Background faded like this, but with like seven or nine different items in their hand, <laughs> and then like this kind of like right in the middle of the card, or I, around the edge. I say you do jujitsu. One is all these different like moves, like paper cutters, wrist locks, and all that stuff. Oh, that that would actually be really cool. I had the, I had an idea. I'm not a what good. They, what do they call that in uh, movies? Is that foreshadowing? That is foreshadowing. Mm. Mm. I'm not, I'm definitely not a good enough artist because as we've been I don't discussing, know. <laughs> I don't know. But that that know. was like an idea that I had, like based off like tarot cards or something. Mm-hmm. Like do like moves, Ooh. like in that kind of like weird, creepy style. Yeah, or choose the way that I choose your way. Adventure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> choose your own adventure. 
Hollywood. <laughs> so this guy says, hey, this snap, nap or tap. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. Did we okay. get through the intro? For, oh, what's oh, yeah. good? What's no, good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Oh, yeah, what's good? <laughs> what's good? Is that is that what we say when we're trying to get back on track? Yep, yep. What's right. good? Usually what's something. good? What's good? Today. Tell me something good about your day today. Um, so today, today was the second day that the site was live. We did uh, we did another 10 sales. I think actually I, I saw a few come in while we're sitting here. So that's super exciting. No shit. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Bad so uh, for those out there, it's uh, Toronto, T A R A N T A Sport.com. Go check it out. Go support. Buy some shit. Do it. Swag. Some, merch, sport. some cool swag. I mean, right here, if you want to put a close up. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, don't drop the towel. <laughs> yeah, I was in the cold plunge. We'll talk about that. But you got what? This, plunge? I got the Austin, the Jiu Jitsu capital of the world. But I say the Jiu Jitsu <laughs> capital, capital of the world. Of the world. Based I order some. On the I didn't know. UFC. It's a badass. When I saw this design, I, I don't could. know. It was like officially, officially, officially. officially. So when was it? Yesterday. Damn. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Thanks, congrats, man. Congrats. Congrats. Dude, this is going to be big. And I'm going to say, I, I got one of the first freaking Toronto shorts. It is. Shirts. I, and you know what? I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. Shirts. Joe, we got Joe Jitsu in the house. You should go by that. Why do you not? Joe Jitsu? Yeah. I, you, you can't pick your. I, I'll. I'll I, I I, you know what? what? I hereby christen you with that. Do, do you guys do you guys have nicknames at your school? Like I feel like that's like some schools are very heavy on the nicknames. Yeah, some I have a Capoeira so nickname. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, P- Pernalonga, which is like the, the Pernalonga <laughs> is uh, one. It means long legs or oh, someone with long thank legs. Oh God! But it's also <laughs> the name of the character, the Bugs Bunny character in Brazil. Oh, oh, that's actually really, really funny. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so there was gonna be some my mace, No, my maester uh, at that time, and my wife and I trained. Yeah, Joe. In uh, Capoeira in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, after once you earn your green cord, which is you go white to green, uh, you get your nickname. Mm. And so they spend the whole entire time as you're a white belt before you graduate. Uh, oh, that's cool. You you earn your nickname. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So everyone gets like a honorary nickname. Yeah. So my my beautiful wife got Pocahontas, <laughs> as in Pocahontas. <laughs> that's a good movie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, that's no, a good namesake serious. too. Dude, yeah, I'm always like, poke my what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you're whoa, anyway. Whoa, whoa, yours is basically third leg, so I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's this para? Isn't I it like John Smith? Isn't like <laughs> <laughs> How do you walk around like that? <laughs> I don't. I gallop. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What is good for you, Miss? Sen- oh yeah, Joe. We didn't get oh, yeah, your good. Uh, <laughs> okay, you okay? Uh, this is gonna be a great, great what, podcast. What's good? Okay, what is good again? Because I'm big on the mental health. Is for people out there. I, I was on the struggle bus a little bit, and Luis again, two weeks in a row, got my butt over here, and then he gently coached me into the cold plunge. Mm. which was extremely cold. It's colder than I remembered. And I listened to some of my 80s new wave music. Uh, Don't you know? talk to baby. Uh, that was the what's song, the isn't it? I don't yeah. even. Don't you Culture want? club. There's something oh, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. And then I started taking my finger and started like having Whoa. them say, hey, Whoa. join me. There's not enough for me set. But I feel great now. I'm, I think I'm finally warming Lies. up. Lies. But um, that was damn cold. So I appreciate you for... Give me that little push and then pushing into the cold plunge. He woke up <laughs> like you saw it. Like, that's a word I don't want to talk about. Woke. <laughs> You're like, Whoop. How long were you in there for? Uh, I try to At least five that. minutes. Five minutes. Wow. That's really good. Thank you. appreciate it. So I don't that's know what's what the back. T- <laughs> <laughs> what's good? <laughs> Over what's under <laughs> what lasts longer? Are you yeah, in the cold plunge or, yeah. or you in the sack? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, Comment cold. below. <laughs> cold, cold <plunge. laughs> anyway, hey guys, seriously, I digress. These have a lot of sugar. Oh no, oh this podcast. I can fucking yeah. feel it. I'm like, <laughs> fucking right. buzzing. I even started drinking my. So, cold plunge, yeah. mental health. What else? Um, I just, I mean, I love family, friends. It always goes with that. What's my gratitude mm. journal? It's kind of funny because I, I've been, I'll do it. I, I try not to make it a job, but it's always like the same thing. Family, friends, family, friends. Can I make friends, a, friends. Can, if you don't mind the interruption. Keep reminding yourself. No. Yeah. Can I make a question for later if we get on the topic of mental health? You can ask me whatever you, 
yeah. No, what I want to ask is, since our last podcast, talking about how we journal, have you changed how you journal? <sighs> question for later. Okay, let me think on that. Yeah. I love that question. You got to think about it. <laughs> I feel like that's a yes or no. <laughs> 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 Did you change how you journal? Let me think. No. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 can, it, it, it can be, but. Yeah, it be, right. it can be yeah. asking I can't you, hey, have you started a company? Yes or no? <laughs> but, hey, there's tolerances, right? That's true. Like, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a spectrum. <laughs> there is the direct. Wait. wait Our are next you, podcast is going to be yes or no answer. I, you know what? <laughs> I've had a couple people dude. ask me <laughs> that. Gosh, I'm not going to say Is anything. that good? Is that it? Oh my gosh. So here's a quick story and it's just going to emphasize and realize, yeah. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing right now is going to support. So I'm with Alex Simone's, you know, and I'm over because he heard his back. He'll, he'll be on. And, um, and on what? <laughs> what? No, he'll be on the podcast because he hurt his back. So as a good friend, I was going over Does the podcast to check on fix him. injuries. Cause if so, <laughs> we need to sell this shit. <laughs> so he's hurt his back and I was playing with the kids and stuff. And then his wife was, we were talking about ADHD and then I'm like, yeah, I think I have ADHD. And I asked Alex and he's like in the kitchen, I'm like, Hey, do you have, do you think I have ADHD? He goes, Oh God. <laughs> So I'm gonna get tested. And I'll let you guys know if I how, do or not. How do you get tested for that? Just a quick I, question. I don't that. know, but I can concentrate because his boy Theo had this like train set up with all these different colored magnetic tracks and these cars that just went boop boop boop, <laughs> and I, I couldn't have a conversation. I said, "I'm sorry." I get, it, it, it sounds like you already so took the test. <laughs> 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 but my 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 wife has ADD. She she found some like test online. Uh, like 50 questions or something you had like fill out she she did it she's like you have ADD to her she's like you have to take this you definitely have ADD I'm like I don't know like we'll see okay yeah. I go through I take it I'm like it says I don't have ADD she's yeah. like you're lying she's like you didn't answer the questions right she's like let me take it for you she took it no ADD oh wow what? yeah but oh. but I'm pretty oh. bad with that stuff too like I get Something kind of flies by. Yeah, shiny like, objects, squirrels. Yeah. yeah, squirrel. I think that's squirrel. horrible, though. I mean, yeah. well, I know I have it because I couldn't finish the test. <laughs> 50, <laughs> Fifty questions at number five. I'm like, screw this. You're test. like, <laughs> you're like, there's <laughs> yeah. Is there fifty? <laughs> I made it to twelve. I'm number twelve, like, I submit. <laughs> so maybe that's what happened. <laughs> You guys finished your test. <laughs> and and so just so you're like, screw this test, man. Fifty questions will last you two. You know? Oh my god. That's Luis. the longest good. <laughs> What's good? good? This is good. Yeah, just be I know. This here. is epic. <laughs> this is Pro <laughs> the the problem is this podcast will go from ninety minutes to nine hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I'm keeping an eye. That's one of you know what? That's one of my goals, uh, is to Keep a closer eye on the clock. That way we can yeah. get through. I so, so on that note, yeah, uh, that's what's good. <laughs> thirty. Tell minutes me in. something good. <laughs> yeah, thirty minutes later. Uh, good. I spent some QT time with my old lady in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, we went to the CrossFit Games, uh, which oh, is like nice. the World Championship of some fit ass people. Um, bunch of booties yeah. oh man like I, I was confused why you would go to madison wisconsin for vacation it is weird <laughs> <laughs> that hey sense. look all due respect go badgers Mad madison <laughs> madison the wisconsin yeah badgers football badgers hockey i can i can dig maybe a couple other things their beer is really good cheese curds are gr too good to a point where it's like i'm I like i'm cheesed out um but a weird town mm. <laughs> respectfully mm. Unique. Austin is Austin the capital. No. Oh, really? Seattle. I think Wisconsin and Austin. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, I was and saying Seattle and Austin <laughs> created yeah. a baby in Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Whoa, mm. that's an ugly ass baby. Mm. It well, it has some cute side, right? Was if it you're cheesy? The, if you're the parent, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> you see a little bit of yourself in it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that was great. Um, we, man, just seeing, man, seeing these athletes do, do some things that normal human beings can't do, whether they're adaptive, whether it be, uh, masters, uh, teens, teens, and, and, you know, the adults essentially. Right. So like, these are the badasses of jujitsu in the adult world. Yeah. Um, 
We watched a guy who cannot represent his country with a flag because of political bullshit Ugh. spend years and years and years trying to get a visa to get into this thing, was doing some great stuff online, mm-hmm. um, finally got a visa to get over here. Last year, crap, someone's going to correct me if I'm wrong. I think he placed second, uh, if not third on the podium. Everybody was like, man, he's going to win it this year. He was like day two, had a 100-point lead, wow. and then – the rest of the field caught up, so it became a really close game on Sunday. He had very first workout, broke his foot, showed up to the second workout with a limp. The and it this had double unders, which means instead of normal doing a jump rope like yeah. one at a time, you're passing the rope twice for every every time you go through. You do that. You get on, you know, like the gymnastics parallel bars, parallel oh, bars. Yes. Yeah. You got to hand walk one in, turn around and come back without dropping. Mm-hmm. Right. And they've got red marks where your hands got to go. Then you got to sit down on the ground and pull this heavy damn sled. Ninety two feet. Damn. Like four. I think it was four hundred pounds or something close for the guys. It, mm-hmm. Someone's going to yeah. like, nah. <laughs> sorry, it was this way. Fine. Whatever. This idiot. This guy. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. This guy with one foot was literally doing like double unders on one foot. Damn. And and the whole crowd was just going crazy for him. That's was it the Russian guy? Russian dude, yeah. yeah, yeah. Roman oh. Krennikov. Yes. Wow. Right? I saw him. So he, he goes out. He doesn't he, – he, 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 he caps the time, right? And then, you know, I mean, everybody's just like tears and cheering. Yeah. And then they interview him at the end as they do with like the winning athlete. Yeah. But they're like, dude, what drove you to keep going like that? Not a tear, dry, dry eye in the entire place. He's like – Translated, he's like, man, I just want to be a good example to my son. So he, mm. like, he see, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I want to, yeah. I want him to see me pushing through. Damn. And man, and then the guy interviewing kept his composure the whole entire time. Was just like, asked another good follow up question, and this guy's just like, man, I did all this work all year long, and I'm just gonna basically, I'm just gonna quit yeah. because I got one injury. I'm, I'm, just break right, my foot. Ended up, fin- go. ended up finishing third. Damn, that's insane. He's still third. Yeah, wow. and what was so crazy, like after that interview, and he's walking off, the whole crowd's like, Roman, Roman, <laughs> Roman. And he ends up winning Spirit of the Games. Oh, How yeah. could you not win Spirit I, of the I Games? I know, yeah. right? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's CrossFit or Jiu-Jitsu. Like, if Jiu-Jitsu would do Spirit of Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, cool. that's a cool idea. Dude, that would Mar- be, that you know, we got Marcio. Right? <laughs> oh, Marcio. Yeah, guys like that. People who, yeah. like, emulate yeah. the Spirit. Yeah. Like, even off the mat, they're like, Great role, blah, yes. blah, blah. You yeah. know, they're not, they don't have the pre on it. Or, and they're also teaching mm-hmm. further on, right? I love that. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I think Jeff needs to bring that in. Or if we have a local tournament or even inside our own, your own gym. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit of the gym. I like mm-hmm. it. Uh, like, on promo- like on promotions, right? Especially for the kids. Right anyway, so that was my, <laughs> that was my great. Oh, Sorry about that. Ooh, that, that's was, awesome. that was my good. That sounds so Spent cool. Spent time with my, my old lady one on one. That was good. Uh, travel's great. I will say, if you are ever on Delta, great flight. Mm. I, I, I think they got great customer service. Uh, they've always treated us well, but I would spend the little extra money and get that Comfort Plus. <laughs> that What's little, the Comfort Plus? Business uh, class. Extra leg. No, uh, extra leg room. So they got the first class. I guess this would be like the new non business class. Okay. But for a few extra bucks, there's a leg room. <laughs> there's like, there's comfortableness because we did have two legs because we went through travel, travel agent, not, no fault of her own. Yeah. Because of the popularity of the games. Uh-huh. Yeah. We were in the back, very back of the plane a couple of times. It was okay on the way there, mm-hmm. but on the way back when you've had that whole long time, I was, we, we did a short leg on it. Yeah. I was like, dear God. So we went to the gate a little early. I was like, man, because they weren't assigning seat, mm. seats. It was like, you had to check in to get your seat. Yeah. Mm. I was mm. like, <sighs> I know we're probably a little bit late. Please <laughs> just tell me my seats are not on the back because we've we've done that and yeah. we're really tired. And she's like, oh, no, I moved you up to 10B. That's oh, dope. I was nice. like, 10B? Nice. I'm like trying to do the math. I'm like, oh, I know this right out of first it's, class. It's that's one more than so then I, Like I'm one of those guys, I'm what type of plane? I'm pulling it up. I'm yeah. like, 10B? I'm like, oh. That's like second row. Right? <laughs> it's comfort plus. <laughs> and, of course, Rebecca was just like, all right, come for us, whatever. By the end of the trip, she like actually before takeoff, in the middle of takeoff, she goes like, "Hey, um, so how do you get in this club?" <laughs> <laughs> I was That's like, "It's not a club. Funny. It's you just pay an extra hundred bucks or so mm-hmm. per ticket, and, yeah. and this is kind of what you get." And like, feel, yeah. even on the walking after the flight, she's like, "Yeah, no, we're, uh, but I do agree." 
not necessarily like on your when you're going out mm-hmm. to it because you're kind of hype, you're got full yeah. energy, you could suffer a little bit. But on the way back after a long trip, mm. that's nice. I, I can totally see that. Yeah. I feel like that. I, I used to be super cheap and like go Spirit Airlines, and then after you do that a few times, you're just like, I'm gonna pay the extra hundred dollars yeah. to not hate my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I didn't say, man, Delta. When they got those Airbuses, dude. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's Delta's pretty. Right they got the kind of little fog up the top with the yeah. LED lighting, and you're like, oh, oh, the Calm app we talked about. So I re-downloaded man. it. Oh and man, because I about that. what I was trying to find is pink noise and brown noise. We talked about. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit short. But like when you go to iTunes or something, it's like songs. So it's like a three minute section mm-hmm. and then it stop, hard stop. And then the next one, I'm like, nah, meditate. No. You can't have a hard stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if I'm trying to sleep. So I got back on the Calm app for the thunderstorm. It was like two hours of straight, like yeah, with rain. I was like, I did the pirate ship today before I came in the podcast. The pirate ship. Pirate ship. Look up. It's um whatever I, noise you like. It's I it's know. it's creaking like pirate ship, thunderstorm, waves, and wind. Okay, and I'm that's just gonna pretty cool. It Try that. My wife hates it. But, um, uh, it's so cool. Diff- well, well, the, the because, the no- you, because you're trying to do the pirate, right? Well, you're I like, make the noises at night. Arr, give me your booty. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the night. Yeah, who would right, it? All right. <laughs> speaking how does she not speaking of that? booty. <laughs> how could she? <laughs> hey, so. Tell us about your business. Tell us about your <laughs> We're going to transition website. off of that. To your yeah. Hard, tra- well, hard no. transition. Hey, because what he's doing, he's going to get a lot of pirate booty, a.k.a. treasure, because yeah. you got a good thing going. Tell Talking us about, about it. about mm. some big booty there. I'll, also, fun fact, Nick Booty. That's what they used to call me, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, because uh, maybe, we, we, maybe we could touch upon this at first. I would uh, love to touch upon <laughs> it. <laughs> so, um, so I've been working on this brand for a while, like probably a year and a half at least. And um, a lot of that time, I've really been kind of maybe overthinking it. I'm trying to develop these like American rash guards and shorts. And my whole idea was that was going to be the first thing that I was going to launch with. So I've just kind of been like building out media and doing like mock-ups and all these different things. And I have the the Instagram account, Toronto Sport, and I'm like posting stuff on there. I'm post I'm like reposting it under like my account. Uh, you know, some people from Coffee Crew are posting it. So like it's getting like around and, and Joe sees it and he's like, oh, like this is super cool. This is super cool. And like one day, I, oh. I <laughs> oh, you didn't think this is where I was going with this? And like one day he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, have you seen this like account oh, yeah. on Instagram? He's like, they got some really cool stuff. And I'm like, that that's my account. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I thought you were just sharing it because like it had your name. And like you just liked it because it had the same name, and I'm like, I'm gonna blow your mind even more. I'm like, Toronto's not even my, my last name. <laughs> <laughs> and he's I, like, uh, everything I know is a lie. <laughs> that I'm sounds like, like he Joe. probably likes it because I thought like, oh, this brand. Is <laughs> wait, 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 time <laughs> out, time to fuck out. Wait, what do you mean that's not your last name? That's mm. not my last name. No, that's. I should um, know this. That's a uh, okay. So, so that's not my last name. My last name is But Agleary. But Agleary. Uh, but Agleary. Nick Booty, Nick AKA, Booty. Oh, AKA Nick nah, Butters. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, coming up with like a name is like hard, right? And mm-hmm. like it needs to like, I feel like you, you don't think your last name would have been marketable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I love, tr- I love Toronto. <laughs> Mo- most of my life, people can't even pronounce it. They still, for some reason, I don't know what's happened. Like when I was younger, when I was a kid, like mm. people would like butcher it horribly. And now people are like way closer for some reason when they like try and pronounce it. Well, it's a more accepting society. We're more woke <laughs> and we want to make sure that everyone is included. Everyone out there needs to be appreciated for being unique and you need to be who you are. Yeah. Continue. But, um, so Toronto. But <laughs> Toronto, yeah. yeah. Toronto. So, um, but like, so like coming up with the name of a brand is like hard, right? Because I feel like it needs to like mean something. You can just kind of like throw something out there. But I feel like it kind of needs to like sound cool. It needs to like hit these like kinds of different things. Um, and I used to have like a clothing company back in college. Can, um, can I ask you a quick question? Oh, yeah. So this isn't your first. This yeah, is my first rodeo. time. I first radio. That. Correct. All right. Can I ask a very simple <laughs> why? Like why? Because yeah. cause I'm in a very similar and yeah. develop brands for uh, other companies, but more like in the CrossFit realm. Where what was your th- where were you at in your space in jujitsu? Because you do practice jujitsu. Yes. That you're looking around and you're like, you know what? This space can use Toronto. Yeah. So I think 
it started pretty early, uh, like the dream and idea of it. I was probably doing jiu-jitsu for like a year, year and a half. I maybe just got like my blue belt. Mm. And I noticed that, especially at that time, things have gotten a little better now, but there was no good grappling shorts. And that's kind of where I wanted to start the brand. Okay. Um, I mean, I've only been doing jiu-jitsu five years. In fact, actually, um, okay. yesterday was the five-year anniversary. I don't know if you guys saw my post, but I it did. weirdly timed five years five years yesterday God, you're yeah. bad for five years <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm so bad for five years <laughs> but um so like it was it randomly like last week I, everything was kind of like falling in place to launch it and yeah. um i'm like okay i'm gonna launch next tuesday like i set a date to like try and do it yeah. and i was thinking that i always knew like i started in august the beginning of august i thought it was like august 5th or something but i'm like let me just look back at my calendar and see if i could like have that if that was there if i had like my first class like on my schedule or something. Mm -hmm. And I like went back and it was August 8th. So anyway, back in two signs for sure. Eight, eight. For sure. 8-8, eight, eight, 2018 is when I started. Mm. Yeah. Very cool. Numbers guy. I Numbers like guy. I like, I used to be an accountant too. Uh. <laughs> but um, I was jack of all trades, like I said. Yeah, um, yeah. But so in 2019, um, everyone was doing like those board shorts, like really okay. long board shorts. Yep. Right. It was like very affliction style, yeah, I feel. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, and it just seemed like there was nothing in the market that was kind of like higher quality. It, as like time started going on, um, people were coming out with like super expensive geese. Everything yeah. was super nice. Like people in jujitsu like to like flex like yeah. what they're wearing. And it just never seemed like, can I ask you a no, question he was getting sort, sort of related? Yeah. Have you played other sports that influenced you for those shorts you're looking for? Uh, no, uh, I played lacrosse like a little bit in ah, high school. Right. So lacrosse shorts. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe, but, um, I don't know. I was never like a real sporty person. Okay. I like, I, I was always like a lifter. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like high school, college, um, I lifted and that's kind of actually how I ended up getting into jujitsu. I kind of just got burnt out at the gym yeah. and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. What kind I, of lifting? Uh, just like, like powerlifting kind of like stuff, okay. like just like the normal lifts. Yeah. Uh, I hit like really good numbers for like my size. What was your total? Um, like, okay. so sorry guys, I, I, uh, I'm pivoting here. Nerding out. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. You could add it up for me. Cause, cause although I'm going to count, I'm not going to add it up squat? super quick. Yeah. My, my, squ I ma my squat was actually my worst. I like maxed out at three fifty five. Okay. My bench press, I maxed out at three thirty five. Three thirty five on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> went, you you have a very like you your arm length versus <laughs> everything else. Is very For okay. sure. Technically, so technically, deadlift. Deadlift uh, was four oh five. Four. Uh, with my bench being the most impressive part, obviously. Oh, that, you made up ground. <laughs> that three thirty five <laughs> actually was at was that was two years ago at my lowest weight at one sixty. Oh, so, ah, <laughs> excuse my language. That's awesome. It, yeah, was, it was crazy. Really I was I was doing 75 hard. I was working out twice a day, uh, just like killing it, eating 2,800 calories. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I All was, right. I was this, I'm, I'm also this lifter when it comes to benching that I guess since I could kind of do it, I have this like no fear zone about it. Mm -hmm. So like I don't have a spotter and like I just go up mm -hmm. knowing and worst case scenario, I could usually get it on the first rung. So like I go into the lift knowing I could do it and then do or die kind of thing. Yeah. Congratulations on a 1,095 pound total. At that's 160. At 160. At 160. That's so some, that's some lightweight. <laughs> these board shorts weren't working for you. Yeah, I was. So, so like I said, right. I was, mm. I already had like, I started a brand when I was in college and, um, it was like a, like skater inspired brand. Okay. Like that, that's kind of like what was going yep. on around right that time, like streetwear and everything. Mm -hmm. Except I wasn't really a skater. Mm -hmm. So like I was trying to design stuff for like what was cool and hip like at the time. But not for and, you. But not for me. Yeah. And and although I like I liked it, I was like very influenced by like everything that was kind of like going on and mm. on there. The hundreds and Supreme and like all these different kind of like brands yep. and whatnot. Yeah. Um so like I always liked it and was influenced by it, but as I was like trying to like make like the product it just was like it wasn't connecting and like i was trying like I, I wasn't making it for me right yeah so as i kind of like transitioned out um i like got like a real job out of school i became an accountant which mm -hmm. is like the total opposite of being like a graphic designer and owning your own apparel company probably mm, have is, uh okay so i, I asked this because this is uh where i'm at to me graphic design i've done it for so long i grew up doing it i had uh, influence from dad like it's not a job for me like I love doing it and I love doing it for people because I love it so much as a hobby and a passion. I'd be horrible at it as business. Like it would mm -hmm. not make money because like I just, 
it's different. Like yeah. I don't, I don't want to mix business and pleasure. Yeah. Drawing and designing is pleasure. Right. And if I had to add a business, I would end up hating what I love. So I have a real job. <laughs> so, so Simpler. what's it? So I, so I think, yeah. I think that, I think that's realistically what it is, right? Like I taught myself Photoshop in like, yeah. uh, illustrator, you know, high Photoshop. school. Yeah, I, ta yeah. I taught myself everything. I'm, I'm so impressed. People nowadays get to use YouTube for like tutorials. Like where I was take, that? Like, I had to do like text <laughs> tutorials and like, Oh, where's this? Like go back and forth one monitor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, <sighs> <laughs> but so, right. So I was like kind of as, I like got this like real job. I kind of always just had this itch to like get back and like be more creative. Mm -hmm. And um, I think like clothing kind of just seemed like an outlet for that. Like some people go paint and put it on a canvas. I'm like, I think a shirt seems like a better thing to yeah. do. Uh, so I was kind of always looking for something to do and it never felt right. Like everything never really lined up. And when I was like kind of in jujitsu and I saw what was going on and there wasn't this like real, there was nothing that I liked that right. I wanted to like specifically wear. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe I could do this. And, and for a while, especially in the beginning, I had this like, uh, imposter syndrome for it again, yeah. because even though I was mm. in, in the scene and I was designing something for me, I was a blue belt and I'm like, who am I? Mm. Like, yeah. like I'm no, like, why is anyone going to want to see my stuff? Right. But I think just like over the years, I decided that there was something to do. Like we were talking about mental health before, like mm. at COVID came and like, I got in like a really weird place in life um i was like good work, not good okay <laughs> no i i mean no i mean maybe it was i don't know it, was, it yeah. was good for it was probably good for some people i had like the opposite covid experience yeah. as everyone else i was i was working in new york city at a cool company um that was like kind of how i sold myself on working there we yeah. were a photo studio cool company what do you mean uh so we were a photo it's studio actually really cool oh i was yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We, we've talked about it before okay. but we were um we were a photo studio and by photo studio we're I'm talking about we're like business to business. So our clients are like Victoria's Secret, GQ Magazine, like famous photographers. Uh -huh. um, Victoria's Secret models come through. Kanye launched an album there. Like, cool, right? Like, oh, like, okay. Like so the, cool is the name of the company. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, no, like, like they're just like cool, like on the scene. Like they, they, they're hip. like, like when I when I went there to interview for the accounting job, they told me I was oh. going to meet with the CFO, oh. and he's like, we don't have that title here. And I'm like, okay, but that's what you are. <laughs> yeah, He's I like, got you. But no, 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 yeah, like the like, yeah, the guy who like owned the company, trendy, trendy. That's like the right word. Yeah. Ah, like okay. So you, you went to trend. work for a trendy company. Yeah. Okay. How was that? Different than. Did you get paid? Because I mean, you're in New York. That's expensive. I mean, um, did you at least compensate for that? I did get compensated over time, and like I was always just like a good worker. So like I started off. Um, making like normal salary. And then I kind of like took over the accounting department mm -hmm. and that was okay. That was good. Like when that was happening, was that with like a gun? You just walked in and be like, I got the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were super liberal. They, probably, oh. they hated guns <laughs> oh, no. um, and everything like that. So it was also weird. Cause like their values didn't specifically like align with mine. Okay. Um, which was like interesting, but COVID came and our whole, um, our saying was we never close. So we, we would open at 5 a.m. And then literally you'd, you'd, the clients would come in at like seven to start loading. Their day would start at eight. They'd get kicked out at six. We'd flip the studios and then set the studio up for the next day. People would leave at four and then 5 a.m. they'd open back up. So wow. our, our saying was we never closed. And then COVID came and then all of New York City closed. Damn. Wow. I, I, was, I was in denial, honestly. Wow. Like we, uh, I, I became wow. like head of the accounting department, maybe like, six, eight months before that, I just had like a brand new team of everyone who came in and they're like, oh, COVID, like there's this thing going on in China, like Italy shut down. Like you think we're going to get like a day off or something? I'm like, they do not close. Like there's like bad weather and like hurricanes and like, they're like, oh, you don't have to go home. We'll put you in a hotel like the next block over. Like you're yeah. coming into work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that but, a good yeah. or a bad though? Uh, Could be good. I mean, well, you're dedicated. So, so <clears throat> right? Yeah. Disciplined? Disciplined, or committed, 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 committed. Yeah, committed. Uh, yeah. I don't know yeah, about committed. that. I don't know about that. I think they just Did uh, you get committed? they uh, <laughs> they knew that they were making good money and yeah. they didn't want to stop making money. Okay. Um, and then Google Google was going to buy our building, oh. or Google did buy our building, I should say, mm. bought us out of our lease. And our and the plan was that they were going to take all that Google money and move to Brooklyn and build like a new studio. And yeah. then and then COVID came and they let go of everyone. Oh. I stayed. Bam. I lost my whole team and now I'm working from home and I'm not in the office anymore. And my wife's home for a while, but then she goes back to teaching yeah. and working and now I'm like really alone. And we have a, 
office on the other side of the country. So like I'm working New York hours, LA's calling me at seven o'clock. They need help. It's like my friend who like is my counterpart. And it's like, what do I do? One of the owners is out in LA. He wants to have a meeting at seven o'clock at night. It's like pulled in all these different directions. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like in a bad place. And that's kind of where with that. And then like me and my wife were trying to get pregnant. And there was this whole like Mm -hmm. journey with that. That wasn't super effective. Um, and bumpy ride and that's kind of led to like let's go to texas okay well what do we do if we just (laughs) if we move across the country don't have jobs and that's kind of where this like solidified kind of yeah all like kind of at the same time it's like what brought you here like why did you throw a dart at a dartboard or you knew this is where the cool company was at (laughs) (laughs) um sorry so we we lived in new jersey our whole lives Mm. um and we always said like if we didn't live in new jersey we'd if we didn't have to live in New Jersey, we'd live somewhere else. And it just, my, my wife was a teacher, so we felt stuck, our whole family was mm-hmm. there. Um, so we're like, we wanna move. My wife's Brazilian, she doesn't like the cold. Like, we were thinking somewhere south. Things things got weird with COVID yeah. in general. Like, Are you in north. jiu-jitsu at this time or no? Yeah, I'm in jiu-jitsu, yeah. So okay. 2018, I started jiu-jitsu. Okay, yeah. um, so I'm already training. Uh, oh, so we stopped training, right? Because everything shut down for yeah. six months. So like that got weird, like that wasn't super great. Then they were training in private and secret. Then I like left the school I was at for like jujitsu drama, which seems to hit every school at some point for some reason. I don't understand why. Um, so I was like out of it. And then, but so we're, mo- we're moving. Okay, what are we gonna do if we move? Okay, I don't know, but we're gonna move. Okay, what what, sh- what should we do? Okay, maybe I could start this like jujitsu brand that I've been like thinking about. Okay, bam, sounds like a good plan. Where should we move? My wife was like, my wife wanted to move to Florida. I'm like if we're going to move and start this brand, like maybe we should move to Austin. Like that's the mm-hmm. new jujitsu capital yeah. of the world. Right. Like that would make sense. Yeah. So that's kind of how I sold her on Texas. Nice. And, and Texas was kind of like on the map anyway. <laughs> how, did, capital of the world. How, how did you, so, I mean, I'm all about relationships. We have great relationships. How did you, Stupid. Uh, how'd you meet your own little lady? Did you, was that through uh, jujitsu or no, she's a, uh, she's, su- I tried to get her to do jujitsu. She, uh, does, doesn't like to, uh, she doesn't like other people's sweat on her, but we actually, um, met in high school. We didn't go to the same high school, but someone set us up. Um, cool. we went on like a date in mm-hmm. high school. Didn't work. We just became, we were just friends. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, then we like refound each other many years later, like after I graduated, after we both graduated college, basically, oh, cool. uh, it was like, right. A Snapchat came out and, uh, <laughs> Snapchat. and like, you, and, you, and ah. in the beginning of Snapchat, you just like send everyone like snaps yeah. and she, uh, she like sent a snap. She's like, I'm on my way to work. And I was, I happened to be like driving to work. Um, and I'm like on my way to work. And I, at this point in time, I had like a handlebar mustache oh, wow. and she replies and she's like, that's not real. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I just put on handlebar mustaches and go to work. <laughs> what is it? The, uh, the old Snapchat filter. filter. Yep, this yeah, this yeah. was before filters. Oh, like this, like, this, this is, is like, the, like the first early days beta version of Snapchat. So you, guys, so you guys made it to Austin. So the design side of it, like, so our, your website dropped what today? Or yesterday, 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 yesterday yeah. day, uh, day two, uh, you and I have interacted on, I know I saw like this design, right? Yeah, yeah. A little bit yeah. for printing. Um, how do you come up with some of these designs? So, I mean, cause so some I, of them are very like, I uh, see like some Milwaukee influence. Yeah. yeah. Um, so some of those, some of them, I'm like, you had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I think, I think maybe some of those, um, <laughs> some of those stickers that you're looking at, like those three right there, yeah. th- that that's actually was designed by an artist friend of mine. Oh. Uh, we did like a collaboration. That's like his style. Yeah. And so we were kind of cool. just like shooting around like a bunch of stuff. He's a, he's a black, he's, I think he's he has his black belt now. Mm. Uh, he was a brown belt when he designed it. But, um, I kind of like that. That's like my idea is like the thrashing white belt on that one. <laughs> okay. Whether whether that guy's the white belt or you just rolled with the white belt. Yeah. And that's how you come out of it because yeah. he just like elbowed you in the face. All right. Yes. What about this? Um, so that's like jujitsu on my mind all the time. Right. Like ah, jujitsu is like kind of like that thing that yeah, when, yeah. once you start doing it, it's always stuck. <laughs> it's always stuck. Hey, always. I'm all, yeah, this one. <laughs> Can or cannot make sense. So <laughs> that one's that one's just fun, right? Okay. I, th- I think I think we all kind of get where that one's going. Yes. And, and that's and that's kind of like really indicative of his style, but that's also why I was kind of like drawn to it. Yeah. So you you hired him out, contracted. How's that work? For yeah, you? yeah, yeah. So we like I contracted him, um, and we like collaborated on all these. Um, all the shirts though were all mine. Yeah. Uh, all my designs. So but really, go it's ahead, just go ahead. What what do I like in like seeing things like out in the world and like you know, kind of like back to that kind of like streetwear kind of like idea yeah. where we're like flipping some logos, like yep. the, 
um, like the little aim guy. Um, those and guys it, were reminds yeah. me of like oh. AOL. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the back of that shirt, I'm actually like super proud of the back of that shirt. Uh, Which like one? how it, so like that AOL shirt or like oh, AIM yeah. shirt. It's like Osoto Gari. Like I, I like drew that whole thing out. It came out really good and like. It's really hard to make it look like someone's doing a judo throw when they're a stick figure. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You got something. Yeah. So just hearing your story here at the beginning of the podcast and knowing you, there's all these things that you've done, all these layers that you have. So it seems like you could pretty much you're a person that if you like something, want to do something, you just try it out. So a lot of the things that you could do in terms of like a passion hobby, why jujitsu? Like, how did you fall into jujitsu? So, going back, right? Like, I was like burnt out at the gym, and I needed something like active to do. Like, I stopped doing it just, once I left the gym. I was just like doing nothing, and mm -hmm. I was like gaining weight. I like felt bad. Like, I was like unmotivated, kind of a little bit. And um, <laughs> I mean, funny enough, I was listening to Joe Rogan, and I feel like he's probably got more people to do jujitsu than anyone else in the world. Yeah, okay. and just like how it was described, right? Like chess with <laughs> dire consequences. Like <laughs> that just sounded that. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um. So like I I go like I I went online and I'm like jujitsu schools near me, right? And uh, I went on Reddit and they had like some suggestions, and one of them happened to be around the block from my house. I'm like, okay, cool. Like let's let's go there. And um, like when I went there, like first day, like I just like sent it and i'm just like i'm gonna sign up they're like you want to do like a free week first i'm like it's cool let's just sign up <laughs> they're like you didn't even take a class yet <laughs> oh wow it's, i'm like yeah like i'm just gonna like because because i think that was like the other thing too right like i think people think it's like scary so i'm like i just want to commit to mm. yeah. like gotcha. i i think they they had like some different deals too where like if i signed up for six months like i paid less yeah. so i was like let's just do the six months like if i don't like it after six months like i'll leave right and yep. um He's like, okay, well, let, let me choke you out first, like, just so you could, like, have a feeling of this before you come to class, <laughs> like, like, later this week. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and I think, like, just from the first class, I was, like, it, there was just something about it. Like, it was, uh, like I was saying before, like, I was never really, like, a specific team sport person. Like, I never was, like, good with, like, playing, like, basketball or anything. Like, all my friends that I, like, they played football, and, like, I never kind of, like, fit into that kind of, like, mold. Mm -hmm. And I think there was just, like, something different about it and, like, challenging yourself and, like, the idea, especially in the beginning, it's so nice of like you go and like you get your ass kicked and then like the next day you go and you get it kicked less. And it's just like this like very like slow, slow progression. Progr yeah. But yeah. but yeah. but it's like yeah. also so obvious because, you know, at, at some point, like you get tapped 10 times and then you get tapped five times and then you're not getting tapped at all. And then like, oh, now you kind of swept someone. You're like, oh, my God, like yeah. I'm almost good at this. And then you're like, no, I'm not even remotely. No, no one's yeah. even trying. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. that's times thirty, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, over and over. And then and you over. just keep repeating that. Yeah. And um, and my wife was actually like on vacation, so she's Brazilian. She was on vacation that whole first month that like mm -hmm. I signed up. So I was just going like four or five times a week. I had nothing else to do. Yes, you know, everyone nice. was. All my friends were like married or like in serious relationships. So, like I never really saw them. So I'm like, all right, screw I'm just gonna, all that. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I go to work. I go to jiu jitsu every day. <laughs> <laughs> I go to work. I go to jiu jitsu, and that was like my life for the first month. And I was just like, this is it. And like weirdly, like within that first month, I'm like, I'm gonna one day be a black belt. Like that. Like I yeah, said yeah. that like early yeah. on. I'm like that. Like yeah. I just want to yeah. do that. Well, like yep. that. And I don't know. Now five years in, I feel like. Most people have the blue belt blues, and I probably get them some days. No, that, I think that's yeah. a oh, real no. thing. No, don't, don't even. <laughs> no, 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 no. It. You got to love the process for you gotta sure. Fall in love yeah. with it. Uh, like I'm never gonna quit. I mean, now I definitely can't even almost quit because of where I work. Yeah. But <laughs> that's a separate point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. But no, yeah. Like some days, especially like as you get better, it's like. Um, like you understand how bad you actually are, right? Yep. Like in the, like that's like the funniest thing. <laughs> like when you're like rolling with a white hate belt, it. <laughs> yeah, like a paper cut. <laughs> yeah, the, the this, guy. yeah this, <laughs> this guy, this guy, with the, this guy. With the he paper he cutters. taught me that you could do a paper cutter nogi, which I could have sworn was impossible. You know what sucks? The more he, you he, learn, the he less would whisper in your ear, but he's respectful <laughs> and it's just a silent. Death. Yeah, it's a silent. Death. It's a smile. It's a smile. Hey, so. Uh, Tell us about the um, plans for Taranta. Taranta. Yeah. We're going. What, what, I mean, let's just fast forward one year. Where do you see it? What do you? Uh, what, what are your plans? What are your goals with it? That way, uh, you know, we can we can uh, help help, you. We help can and assist. follow along. Yeah. Um, so the real the real goal was to is to really make these like American rash guards in nogi shorts. Oh, um, they're and, so nice. And that's and that's like where I've been 
kind of like spinning my wheels almost because American manufacturing just isn't here or like where it is, um, especially when it comes to stuff uh, like the high tech fabrics that you kind of need in like these athletic mm. wares, right? Almost exclusively overseas. Um, I found someone who makes stuff that I like, um, but now like every step you go, there's like more, more and more problems, right? So like now that I found the fabric that like no one really carries, I got that part done. I, I, I'm working with a really good like R and D team here in Austin. That's like helping me design everything. And like, I have, dra I had drawings for them. I had like samples of other things that I like. I'm like, let's do this, this. And they like worked it. And like, that is like some wizardry because like, it's so impressive. Cause like you go in with like a flat drawing and they're like, okay, we're gonna make this three dimensional. And then like, they know like, okay, like it's pulling here and pulling there. And like, we need to adjust it at this other place on the side to make up that room. And it's like, so we've got, so I went through like a whole bunch of revisions with that. And now, now I have all the patterns done. Um, now the problem is sublimation, which is like this like thing that doesn't, like <laughs> that, yeah. that doesn't happen in here really. Like no one does it because What's, it's, because it's it? super what complicated. Do you want to explain it? <clears throat> yeah. It's a uh, bonding a graphic to a, a fabric. Oh, like yeah. this uh, uh, without weaving it. Uh, so yeah, you sublimate the graphic yeah. to it. And it's typically not done here. It's typically the, definitely not done here because yeah. it's very complex. So like a heat press would kind of be like a similar idea. Mm -hmm. And like, that's kind of how they do it with like a heat press. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about something on this level and a full customized rash guard and yeah. shorts, yeah. they basically have to take a 40 foot roll, yeah. print a 40 foot wide oh, we're talking yeah. wide like print it and then like heat press the whole thing yeah and then cut it yeah, into in like it's not even like it'd be better if it was just like a pattern right but like you've seen rash guards they're not just a pattern right if you want your yeah. name on it like they have to make a little section yep. that's that they cut wow. out that has like your name on it so i had this place in california and they were like they didn't want to do it that way because obviously it's super complicated mm -hmm. but they're like we can do it we can do it and um, they were like working on it. They they like sent me pictures, and they're like, oh, but like we couldn't get like the printing right on like the pattern for like the sleeves or something. And they're like, we're gonna work on it. We're gonna do another uh, thing. And then I'm like, oh, like how's it going? And it's like, oh, we're working on it. We're working on it. And then like radio silence. So um, it's a process. Uh, I've, Have I've, you reached out to anybody in our local community that could probably help you with that? No, but maybe I should. But I can get you in contact with. Okay. Bam. That's what nice. I'm talking about. See, we're solving problems here. Yep. Yep. Um, cool. That'd be Very amazing. Cool. Uh, and so it's closer than you think. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. um, we'll, we'll discuss what, off the air. Yeah. No. Uh, what else? What else can we do to help you? Like, 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 uh, yeah. like I'm not on social media, so it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. um, but go ahead. Sorry. Well, I want to offer some ideas What's for matter? your. Oh. I want to offer some ideas for you Jamie in the future, in it? too. Okay. What yeah. do you want, Luis? Go yeah. ahead. Well, <laughs> so. You need a cough button so you could like talk off mic to him. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's am right. I, am, I, like, am, I <laughs> am I way out? Am so I no, no, no. You guys are good. You guys there, are good. There's a subgroup. Um, um, Learning curve. Chris, if you could bring this up, Turkish. There you go. Turkish like, wrestling. Nice sexy again. Turkish <laughs> oil wrestling is that? That's Turkey. what we're gonna go into oh, talking about. Really quick. <laughs> they do not hey, have really. any type of clothes. Real quick. Yeah. This man has been on my ass all night. He gave me the karate chop at one point in time, Ooh. and then now he's just like, "Hey, move." Okay. <laughs> move. You're out of control today, oh, Christopher. Yeah. What's going on? I'm yeah. having a good time. He's gonna cut us off. All right, so, what do you want? Uh, Turkish wrestling. I, I don't Why know. Are you we, yelling? I don't know. Can, if I, can play I Google? That can I? This? We can. It's a sport. Th this will Turkish be. Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this will you, be. You've never seen this. No, child but then, friendly. But then he, yeah, yeah, it it's just. But, he's not, but but that's not a good business model for what him. Is, what is that? It, no, don't they wear here. leather pants? Yeah, it's right here. So this is oh, a sport, okay. and once a year they have a competition <laughs> for it's equivalent to a hundred thousand American dollars, and you oil yourself with really? olive oil. <laughs> that is a and sport. And you reach into <laughs> the shorts to grab some type of advantage. But if you look at what Where they're are we wearing, going with this? look. <laughs> I know. Just see how this one guy right here? He has something on the back of his pants. Yeah, yeah. but. But they have very basic primary colors, and uh -huh. and you could put your mark there. I could see like one of your <laughs> logos there, like Toronto in, on in the Turkish back. In Turkish wrestling, yeah. 
I Who, could, do, I could do you see, have a Turkish oil wrestling connect that you could like set this I, up I with? I could reach out there. But, All right. And you I'm, I'm re, sure you reach they, out. Let me know. You, if you broker the deal, I'll give you like a, yeah. some incentive. Yeah. Affiliate. Kickback. Affiliate. I mean, program. here's one of 10%. the. I already got an idea for your first design. It, okay. could, be, uh, it could be a bright pink one. It could say, <laughs> have you oiled your friend today? <laughs> that, actually, write that down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you? Have you oiled your front today? You guys didn't give me a notepad. Someone else write that down. Give it to me. And then, <laughs> and then we could have the air shirts like they do with like the couples. I'm with slippery. <laughs> <laughs> and arrows point at each other. All right, say that last one again. I'm with slippery, and then the other one says I'm with slidey. <laughs> oh shit! Hey. So. <laughs> and then you can have this last one. Turkish wrestling. There are no safe words. Hey, that's All an right. idea. We got to pivot. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'll be launching so, my off topic. I'll so be watching all right. My so yes. we're, we're making what? Toronto. Hey, Toronto. Toronto. Do you see your, so you asked kind of like the one year one. Can I ask like a long-term one? Yeah. Could we be at like our house chilling, watching the UFC and like see Toronto on <sighs> the floor mat or, I, or, or, or like an ADC jujitsu thing? So. Where do you see? I mean, I think so, and I think that's one. Re- realistically. So I do have a ten year vision for yeah, it, and and re- and where it is is we kind of have like some sort of like complex health and wellness complex with like mm-hmm. you know a gym and everything, and we bring in um, we do seminars and like bring in athletes to like privately train, and then um, when you say gym, where you train, where you currently train at Jiu Jitsu right now? Do you have a gym or how? We don't work? have a gym. Where okay. we currently train, so I think they're you, working on it. When you say gym, are you a gym is somewhere else? Uh, Toronto gym. So, so Toronto no, 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 no. So not like that. Like yeah. like a headquarters. Like it'd be like yeah, a headquarters, yeah. ah. like a private gym. Okay. For like our athletes that we'd like sponsor, or like uh-huh. work with. But similar, I guess, to kind of like what Roca has right now. Except ah. none, none, none of those people are. I mean, I guess some of them are sponsored, but they don't specifically affiliate them. They're not even in ju- the jujitsu space, mm. um, but they work with like a lot of those pros. But like that kind of like idea where we have like a headquarters, we have like mat space, we have like a gym and, and we focus kind of like on all the ideas that are jujitsu and kind of like surround jujitsu. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, we have like, do you have trainers? Train, yeah, that's what ma- maybe trainers, probably if not, definitely like bring trainers in to do some sort of um, seminars for lack of a better word. Right. Mm-hmm. But like, informational sessions like breath yeah. work and do all, all these different things like yoga well, well, cause you have like a gym component i'm not just asking yeah. this from yeah. a gym component uh is it like an open gym style or do you have coaches that are coaching your athletes yeah i think it's coaching the athletes more it's so. kind of like a guest yeah. drop in right yeah it's not but what i'm saying you have your trainings you have coaches yeah. and trainers that yeah are and, the, cool. and, the, and they're working with like the people that we work Hell with yeah. and sponsor Hell and yeah. i think um, maybe on it could be like a good kind of like oh. idea of like what it is, right? Yeah, Where like yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. maybe people can drop in, mm-hmm. or and and we just kind of like charge an obnoxious fee every month to like <laughs> make people not want to. Yeah, I, you guys, but, are uh, but enough, but enough to make people want, want to. to. Yeah. yeah. Do you, yeah. do you guys so, know how much it is to go train it on it a month? No, like no. two hundred, three hundred and thirty dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, they better be like wax my legs so, and so everything how, else. For how that. soon are you going to have this going? Because yeah. I know the Elon Musk and uh, Mark Zuckerberg fight is coming up. Oh, there's an update will on it, that. Will it be? Is there an update on that? Will yeah. it be ready All in right. time so we can we get go. something going with that fight? No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know. Can we see? So I, I guess I we're going to see what these connections I guess, turn out to. I guess the question is. Will Toronto Sport be at the Mark Zuckerberg? Ooh, it can Elon be. Musk. It can be. I mean, right. I guess with enough money, be. anything could be there, right? No. <laughs> With the right swag. With the right swag. Yeah. Oh, and the right yes. camera view. So exactly. if he wants to, <laughs> so if you look, he wants to stream oh my God. it. That's, that's this one? crazy. Um, the one on the left, uh, <laughs> it says CBS News. He wants to stream it on X. Epic rap battles is still a thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to stream it on X. But, but to kind of like go back while you're pulling this up, right? I think that was kind of part of the idea of moving to Austin and kind of just affiliating myself with like all these different kind of like people. Yeah. Uh, and just being kind of in in the scene around some uh, of the best people in the world so are it's you stuff. the idea guy that is finding artists or are you the artist that wants to share your idea i think it's both okay i think i think really what it all comes down to is i want to give something back to the community as like a whole mm-hmm. like because i think i think jujitsu is just like one of the best things that people can do for like so many aspects, right? Like mm. physical, 
uh, like the training, self defense kind of thing, mm-hmm. the mental clarity, the, mental. the friendship and relationships. Like there's so much like packed into it that I think I kind of just want to do my little part, whatever mm-hmm. it can be to kind of like spread the word and like help push it more mainstream. Like mm-hmm. I know I'm never going to be good enough at jujitsu. <laughs> Like, like, the, like <laughs> you guys look at me like I'm don't crazy. ever say that, but I'm, but I'm saying, yeah, I'm, already, I'm 33 years old, right? Like I'm never going to be on the scene of ADCC or something. You could, you could. I, I, J- Giancarlo teaches at my school. <laughs> I know the level of difference between it. He could be wearing your shit. He could be. So you would be on the scene. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> me personally competing. <laughs> that's, that's that was right. that was my point. Yeah. That was All my right, point. Gotcha. I'm I'm never gonna be athlete. a jiu- I'm, I'm never gonna be a jujitsu wow. athlete, yes, right? Gotcha. Um yeah. So, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna on that note, man. Is it that this that time of the show? Yep. Thank yeah, you, thank wow. you, thank you. That was uh that was amazing. And now we are going to move to our next segment, oh, which my is favorite part. So what we have affirmators here is our affirmators. Get it which close are up here. Affirmation affirmation cards. And we've where, been going through a plethora. plethora. That's that's fancy. Yeah. Plethora. Of um, different types of words, affirmations, and, you know, just kind of things that we have been doing in our lives or things that maybe we have to think more about. Last last episode's word was last what? Last ep- impermanence because impermanence. it became oh, my yeah. background on oh, my oh, phone. Wow. So yeah, every day I get to look at okay. impermanence. Life is nice. always changing. I yes. like that. Yeah. That by that, that <laughs> these are cool. Kind of like tarot. It is cool. Tarot These are cool. cards. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so I get to so pick. So now, yes. yeah. You yeah. Can All right. Pick one yes. anywhere. You just pick the top card. They've already they pick, shuffled once. Pick, oh, I just picked the top no, card. No, whatever. Hey, whatever you want, right? I don't Last know. What, time. What, what Who was it that was here? Yeah. That was me. It was that Lena. Just, oh, Lena. Lena, Lena, Lena broke it. Yeah. Lena. Lena. Broke it. Lena. Yeah. Lena. Yeah. You guys don't even know the name of the Lena. Lena. ESL. 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 Lena shuffled them. Again? Yeah, oh, she, she did. Goes, she goes, oh, well, she's successful because we have impermanence and it worked. So, so just take the top one. Take whatever you do, want. Do whatever you I'm, want. I'm going to cut it. Cut it. Cool. So I, I, feel, I feel like in this crazy. I think at this point in time, that deck is like. Crazy mixed up world, right? That's like, a crazy move, dude. I, I want to pretend like I have some control on the outcome of the situation, even That's though right. everything's totally random. You don't. You don't. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is Read it? it. Gentleness. Ah. <laughs> not Joe. I speak with gentleness and listen with gentleness too. I align with the gentleness part of myself and take joy in being receptive, open, and unafraid. I'm like a baby deer. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby what? I'm like a baby deer who's best friends with a baby elephant. <laughs> the baby. This is a wild card. <laughs> is this what they're all like? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Wait, but wait, there's more. The baby elephant wraps its little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass. Wow. Daydreaming and talking about what sorts of humans the clouds look like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cloud look like a human. <laughs> I think I've seen those socks on Joe. Oh, my God. So um, what are our yeah. thoughts on this? Go ahead and. And put that oh. back. <laughs> Speak with gentleness. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be. You, someone's going to uh, use that clip to blackmail me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we will. <laughs> hey, the make baby me a t- elephant. Make me a raps. T-shirt. And be like, no, and be like, you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> You're gentle. <laughs> Your gentleness. Um, thoughts, a baby guys. Baby deer whose best friend is a baby elephant. <laughs> <laughs> The gentle art of jujitsu, guys. Come on, the that's, what, that's yeah. what they're talking about. That, yeah, yeah. You know what I love about yeah. this? That was me and Richard. Richard the elephant. Now it's the <laughs> deer. <laughs> Sounds like the opposite of gentle. <laughs> it was a hug. Gentle, yeah. hard hug. <laughs> oh my God! Baby wraps its little trunk, its little <laughs> trunk around its shoulders, <laughs> and we li- <laughs> and we lie down. Never mind. We're Gen- not that card. <laughs> Gently on the grass, daydreaming. <laughs> Total opposite. About total opposite. Sorts of humans. Hey, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you I, what, man. You hey. got a great idea. If this this is a, gr- a great, unique idea, you have a great, unique This should be super motivating because. <laughs> it should say like Toronto on this cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and then this definition, right? You just replace gratefulness with 
I speak with Toronto. In, in Toronto, in, uh, in Toronto company, we speak with gentleness, and we take our little chunks Dude, and wrap them. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I will say this: the very beginning, I, it did. Get, it did get crazy at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the more you read, the more yeah. it's like, what is happening? But I will say this. That first, the first sentence was legit because, <laughs> look. The first, the first three words. The first three words. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it depends if you define. All right. I, how you I speak <laughs> with I speak with gentleness, right? So we talk about within a ju- uh, jiu-jitsu community, we got the circle with the professor, we got that. Uh, the advantages that have come out from the mental health side of this, the physical side of this. So when we're, at least in our academy, we have the circle. in Community circle. We don't do that, but I love that that you okay. guys do that. Okay. Oh, thank okay. you. Cool. Um, but then I listen with gentleness too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's great because that reminds you of uh, who can be <laughs> in the room, right? And you do, uh, whether you're doing jujitsu with them or not, you may not be aware of what they want you to listen to. So, hey, speak how you want to be spoken to. But when people are speaking, especially like your story or like Joe, your mental health. And there's yeah, I'm always one thing I think jujitsu is great at. It is physically demanding, which allows you to be vulnerable and, and like kind of release the emotional side or some of that psychological side to gain your freedom. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So that yeah, first yeah. line of I speak with gentleness and then I listen with gentleness is you never know who's speaking. You have to have an open heart because there's some days that you could have a shitty day, but someone's always got a worse day. Well, it's just like I said, I think in the podcast where I didn't even feel like showing up again. It's like I went to the room and Luis is just like, come on, you know, just come out and just get be here. Steady. Just yeah. be yeah. steady. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. steady. Yeah. It's, it's, I think that's very relationship based yeah. both ways, you know, how you handle your business given it and how you listen all that and this is this is the guy that walked in straight into the cold plunge too (laughs) hey here's the boss move though you give him that top pressure right like that hard shoulder (laughs) are you doing your paper cutter nice and slow like you do and you're like you're my dear (laughs) (laughs) and and here's the baby elephant trunk (laughs) hey hey (laughs) fill my trunk (laughs) i'm like (laughs) hey my dear hey my dear uh, Let's anyway. look at the clouds. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're already dreaming. <laughs> no, no, tap out. Hurry up. No, yeah. don't hey. go there. <laughs> Do the lights look like humans? <laughs> <laughs> right as they go, <laughs> tapping out. Now, um, let's see here on jujitsu side though, uh, with the gentleness. You got your white belts every now and then, right? So they whoop your ass, but at the same time, you can't crush them. So no, and the black belts will do the appropriate amount of resistance and all that just to get you to learn. Yeah. You know, unless they, they're mad. They, they can literally <laughs> like kill you with their bare hands and you don't learn anything. So, and, and our professor, at least in our school, Bruno, I mean, he's one of the most loving, caring people I've ever met. And it's more than jujitsu, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Too. No, yeah, it's just like jujitsu yeah. is the thing that brings us together, but we get so much from it. It brings people like us together. Well, look at so that coffee writers. crew, right? Yeah. Coffee yeah. crew. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's where we met. That's like, where yeah, we met yeah. through coffee crew, and so we're it, still it, trying to like assimilate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, is your gym really close to where you live? Yeah, can I ask that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Gym yeah. you're right. In? Yeah, I'm yeah. at Gracie Humaida. Okay, yeah. awesome. How long have you been there? Since I moved here to Texas, so it'll be a year in uh, the end of September. And nice. Did, did they always have those fancy mats? Yeah, they yeah. put them in. Fuji put them in for us. They're so nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Have you been? No, I've seen them. They're super nice, yeah. So they're uh, for for everyone who's listening. We at my gym, they have um, they're basically like kind of like judo mats. They're spring floors. There's a spring subfloor under the mats, Aww. so there's like a nice cushion when you get smashed into it. Yeah, <laughs> it gives <laughs> it, a it gives bit. a little bit. Yeah, and so I actually looked up what they look like. It's uh-huh. pretty crazy. It's like uh like a four by four square of plywood and then almost like a shock that you would like like a spring on a shock mm-hmm. for a car yeah. in like the middle of it or like on the four corners maybe and then um and then another one right on top so that's like the whole subfloor it's probably like this big oh wow, wow. so okay and Doesn't then sound cheap no 
That's they're, probably they're that's probably like uh, when we went to Florida with Elena. She went to a Chrissy uh, Bada school, mm-hmm. and the floor reminded me like a gymnastics floor. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. so that's so that's with, what it feels yeah, like. Like with mats, le, like you get like a little spring to it. Yeah. Like if you like jump, like I've never been on a gymnastics floor, but mm-hmm. I assume that's probably what it's yeah. like. Yeah, it's like they put mats on a gymnastics floor. It's mm-hmm. got because uh, the subfloor to gymnastics has got springs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that allows mm-hmm. those girls to get elevation. To, yep, yeah. and that's men it. as well. Yeah, yeah. also I, flying I, triangles. Oh, that's how. Man, they're good at them. So, what do you like about your gym? Because I'm not familiar. Like every gym has a culture, has mm-hmm. like its own energy. What, what do you appreciate? Yeah, about your gym. Um, I think it's just kind of like being around. We have like a lot of people who like want to just get better and like show up. And it's like one of the few places I used to. So before I was, I mean, I guess even now, but. Um, I wasn't working for a while when I was down here. So like I would regularly go to like the afternoon class mm-hmm. and like the amount of people in at a 12 o'clock class every day during the week was like, we'd have like 20 something people. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was just like, it's like a really great space. Um, we have a lot of high level people there. Um, I know you guys have like Bruno and he's super amazing. We have, uh, so we have Giancarlo teaching oh, yes. the, the current ADC champion. Yeah. He teaches the night classes. Um, we have uh, Chloe, uh, I forget what her name is, but she teaches like all the women's classes there. She's like a high level unity black belt. Um, Tim Kennedy obviously Tim Kennedy? owns the school, yeah. yes. uh, who is the complete opposite of a nice black belt. <laughs> <laughs> he will crush you. <laughs> and he basically wants to see how much, how long you could survive. Yes. Uh, I've, I've <laughs> a couple of Tim. I was at a gym with them stories. He is and, uh, unique. And so, and so now we didn't touch on this, but now I actually work for his company, Sheepdog. So I get a little extra now. Oh, <laughs> Oh, extra love yeah a little extra love yeah. brotherly love um, <laughs> but no yeah ever everyone's super great and it kind of just felt like um like when i walked in kind of just like home like almost like immediately and that's yeah. how it should be yeah and yeah. um to be fair though i came to your guys school i did a week i did a free week at humaida and then a free week at uh you guys and uh it was it was, it was a tough tough decision honestly uh it felt weird i, I felt a little weird going back uh by you guys but then you know you were doing coffee crew and everything was like super open mm-hmm. and then then it became this thing of like well now it's almost it'd be almost stupid not to train at the other school because now i kind of get like the best of both worlds it gets yes. like oh, see sure. you guys yeah. and like get to train yeah. with all you guys and um you know i've like come through to like some of like your other classes um i was before yeah. i was gonna say i had a had a nice uh, Richard's story of we were doing a competition <laughs> class and Count uh, zero and it was standing and I got very gently put on the floor yeah, and then uh, the landlord. <laughs> and then and then immediately I got out and then immediately got back in and then T gently put me on the floor uh, <laughs> and I'm like uh, this is not oh, I remember that, <laughs> that is not gentle yep he's like I feel like this kid's gonna die like what is happening <laughs> yeah I looked at both uh, gyms also before I lean towards full fighters but that's just an example for people out there you just it's not that one's better than the other it's just what's the best fit for you yeah. as long as you find something that works for you and what and again after coffee crew what i love is we have like seven eight sometimes ten different gyms there but yeah. when we're at coffee crew there's there's no age religion there's no or real other just, gyms it, it we threw, all enjoy it each other threw me off how old you were at first honestly i'm not gonna lie I thought, I thought you were so young like you don't want, you want to know the secret is 350 Jiu-Jitsu. blood vials of baby blood vials of baby blood i hear that's <laughs> i hear that's a baby <laughs> elephant <laughs> and wrist locks <laughs> a lot of elephant trunks wrapped or, around or what is baby. it yeah b- b- uh, baby uh yeah baby elephant <laughs> yeah i'm kind of like the inverse of you uh-huh. with uh coffee crew and then veterans jiu-jitsu although yeah. i haven't been to veterans jiu-jitsu jitsu and in forever but uh, thank you for your service but fridays fridays right? yeah yeah, Still yeah. On at yeah. 12. so so yeah. uh veterans jiu-jitsu actually kind of left so we're, we're oh they do damn. heroes jiu-jitsu now on fridays oh. same same but different okay cool. um but same kind of idea cool. and those those classes actually have been like blowing up i mean you've been there when they're like really big oh, yeah. but like yes. it's it's crazy so it's it's open to like all veterans first responders i think teachers too now oh, really uh yeah teachers too now you can yeah! come on through um and uh Are they they'll it? they'll get we'll get 60 70 people on the mats um and our mats are a little smaller than yours like it's a I thought you, big mat space, yeah, yeah it's pretty big space you guys have a crazy big space and i didn't i thought it was much bigger but then like after like after the wall came down and the mats were like down for like a little while and you're like okay let me like really look at this because it just looked so big at first i feel because 
you didn't even realize how small it was at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that uh, I forget where I was going with that. That's but, okay. But yeah. So oh no. So our mats are about the same size as yours, a little mm -hmm. smaller, and it gets packed on Fridays. And it's a good time. You it should get, while you're still I, off in the summer. You should come. I would love to do that. Yeah. If I get a, a short Friday, I'll come through. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and then yeah. what they usually do for for veterans. Sorry, not for teachers specifically you this time around mm -hmm. um on the first friday of the month they they have a uh, all like different like veteran services come out too which is pretty mm -hmm. cool so like uh, if you need like if you need like help with stuff uh you know they like if you need help like paying your bills if you need help like finding a job filing like uh disability and like all these different things like they they kind of like connect you with like a lot of these different like services mm. actually i got somebody i need to uh connect connect yeah, yeah. and i would um i'm gonna see if i can hit that first friday from work on myself as well. Yeah. It's good to know that. And that's during the noon class. Yeah, a lot of veterans. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, so it'll be like yeah. 12 o'clock. And, and I would, I know how involved you are with the veteran side of it, but I just would, one, figure out how I can help as well. Yep. But uh, there are some things I need help with that I was one time, just don't know the connections, but yeah. if somebody can go, oh, hey, here. That would we, help. we all need help. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that, that's what I've, that's what I've honestly, one of like the favorite, my favorite things are like being here and, and maybe it's a Texas thing. Maybe it's like an Austin thing. Uh, maybe it's just cause I'm from the Northeast and everyone's an asshole. Um, but try, everyone, try Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone here is like so nice and like receptive yes. and like, and, and I think I make the excuse that I think a lot of people here are transplants. So like people understand like the being new and like they want to like help people like connect and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, um, like I've never as a Texan, <laughs> like born. Yeah. It's just in nature. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, like, I believe that. I see it. And me too. You know, other Texans can disagree, whatever, but if I just keep it to us on sense when you get into like a community, whether it be like say uh, jujitsu or uh, close like CrossFit or fitness or something like that. Um, I do notice a difference when you come here, like whether they're Texans or they're transplants, we all fall in love with H-E-B. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. No, H-E-B. I, 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 thought, I thought everyone was gassing up H-E-B. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you guys need Ooh. to calm down. This is a grocery store. Why are you so excited? Uh, and I have an H-E-B Plus next yes. to my house. Dude. It's so oh, amazing. It's oh, yeah. so and, and I don't even have one of those that has... I heard there's some with barbecue places and yes. stuff. Yes. Dude, I'm so <laughs> mad out in Leander. They didn't, like, it happened 10 years later. I'm yes. like, who the heck? You don't even have time to stop and get H. <laughs> and then, like, I went there one time to specifically get HEB barbecue. H -E -B. Yeah. At eight o'clock in the morning, and it specifically said eleven o'clock, and I was like angry at HEB, which I've never been before. <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, it's worth the wait. <laughs> Please sit in my car right. for an hour. Please yeah. HEB, just we just need your support on this. We would love to have your help on this podcast. Yeah. We love HEB. I would love to change We're that the unofficial cup to say HEB versus I will QT. Wear, I, I will wear yeah. HEB bags on my head. So I don't care. that being said, like as a Texan, yeah, like uh, and my old lady as well. She's uh, I mean born bred. Uh, her, Questions in our family is like, hey, would you ever leave Texas? Yeah. I'm like, they got an H-E-B? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that, your question. That's the first question. Because if they do, I'll consider it. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, some other advantages. Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky's. Well, Bucky's, if you got the two in the same state. Bucky's in, is in other states. It, no, it is. But guess where right it now. started? No, I know here. Right. Bucky's <laughs> also amazing. That, right. So Bucky's is like, we're Big so fan. awesome. We're just going to go everywhere. H-E-B is like, nah, we're... We're staying yeah. local. <laughs> right? There's also way less Bucky's, though. Like, there must be a million HEBs. Mm, sure. I don't yeah, know. I don't, there's not yeah, as Bucky's many. Bucky's is good about spread. Like, yeah. right? They're not I mean, like a Chick fil A where you got it's one special. on the like, But yeah. between here and Dallas, which is what, three, three, three and a half hours, there's only two. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Yeah, they're yeah. very good special. at spreading yeah. out and making it special. Well, because mm. it's like a. It's also a. A truck stop is, a, is the wrong word. How for dare it, you? I don't, <laughs> they don't even allow trucks to stop yeah, there. They don't allow it's trucks. Like, it's like there's a big sign no trucks. No, you know what it is? It is the truck stop for just normal ass cars. Normal people, yeah. Because everybody sees truck stop. I love. Oh, they got showers? <laughs> They got barbecue there. Like you can they eat. They have and showers? Sit down. Wait, they have showers. Some Bucky's do. Bucky's. They have the best BLT on the planet. 
Oh, I, I will say one thing. God. Yeah. One one thing that bothers me about mm-hmm. Bucky's, they have like the little kiosk thing where you could like order like a custom sandwich, right? Forever. But like, no, but like the thing is, there's like you could just pick two options, right? Like, why yes. can't I just walk up there and grab it? Like, what are we doing? Yes or no. <laughs> What? It's fresh. It's a yes or no question. Yeah. Is it fresh? Right? I mean, what's it? You, their barbecue is fresh. Those guys are cutting it up and putting it on those. Great barbecue. Also, great breakfast tacos. Uh, great candies. Yeah. yeah. They jerky. I mean, they have everything. Oh, oh their fudge is talk, oh, Wait, you want to talk about jerky? My, I don't even know how this happened. My, oh, oh, because when we came down here to visit Texas before we moved here, we yeah. came down with my parents. Yeah. Um, we actually we came to Austin to look at places. We drove up to Dallas to meet with who my manufacturer was at the time. Yeah. So we like stopped at Bucky's. He was like, "Oh, you got to stop at Bucky's." My dad loves the beef jerky so much. He sends me a check and has me <laughs> mail him <laughs> four pounds of beef jerky <laughs> at a time. Uh, uh, I literally the uh, first or he's like reselling or it. like we we used we literally used to like drive. Yeah, I can't get this up here. I mean, this is really Italian. <laughs> we, we used to we used to drive back and forth between yeah. here and New Jersey, and he's like, "Oh, like, can you pick it up on your way yeah. like here?" Yeah. And I remember the first time you're I running went, jerky. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a mule. You're the- mule jerky. <laughs> you're muling jerky. <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> Oh, my, the uh, the, be- the best part though was the first time I think I, went, I love your dad. Yeah, I ordered like <laughs> I started the order with ordering like a half pound of like yeah. whatever like the flavor was, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, okay, cool, have a good day. I'm like, I am not even almost done, lady. I'm an eighth, <laughs> eighth through my list. So, how much does it cost to ship four pounds of jerky, and which jerky does he get? Because I love so, jerky. Um, That's his favorite. I I would like switch it up and like give him different ones. Apparently, my wife did it better this time because like she went there with her friend and she got. She got like eight different ones. I used to get him like I used to get him like four or something. Yeah. But personally, my personal favorite, I think it's a newer one. They have like a Korean barbecue one. Oh, oh yeah, uh, that is my new flavor. That. <laughs> that is a great jerky I, flavor. I, I got him the ghost pepper one <laughs> one time because I'm like I'm like this will take because he like literally like I would send it to him and he'd be done with it in like a month and I'm like how how like how right. how much beef jerky are you eating? And I'm like. At least this is good. You're going to have a problem eating all this beef jerky. Yeah, that's a pound a week. Not m- Maybe not him, but there's going to be a, a couple openings <laughs> that are not going to love him uh, very much. <laughs> so he gets the ghost peppers. Yeah. <laughs> good, good on your old lady getting, yeah. getting the eight different flavors. But, okay, what other gas station in the entire world, you know, has their own in-house made jerky in eight different flavors? It's just Next There's to, way more than eight flavors. Ne- oh, God, yes. right. Oh, yeah. right. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I'm just saying just eight flavors. And then oh, also the same in sausage. Oh, yes. Yep. I never had the sausage. Uh, I should probably oh, try that. Oh, so good. Gosh. Oh, and clean bathrooms. Yes. Uh, night, yeah. How do they the, keep those bathrooms so I don't clean? know, but they're the bougiest bathrooms. <laughs> like, some of them have, like, that little light so you yes. know if someone's in, in there, there or not. Yeah. And they've got, like, $4,000 worth of artwork <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> and people are buying it. <laughs> people aren't it. buying it. Oh, my gosh. Somebody, Somebody has, has to. Someone yeah. has to. I mean, there's a few in there that I see. I'm like, man, that's a really good looking uh, flag. Yeah. I like. Yeah. That wavy wooden flag. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> right. And you're like, do you want to be that guy coming out of Bucky's? Well, you're running to the bathroom. It's a weird concept because you got to do one or two. And then you're like looking you're at like art. You're like three. That, <laughs> that flag <laughs> is amazing. Hon- honestly, that's the other question because they yeah. have like some wild stuff in there. It's yeah. like, who's buying these things? Like they had, I remember last time I was there, they had like a giant like oil barrel that basically was a like a deer feeder or yes. something i'm like yeah. who is coming to bucky's to buy this like the guy who's and then like, putting it the last in- bucky's to get my deer blind and while i'm here i'm gonna fuel up i'm gonna get my jerky <laughs> i'm gonna my go hit my pulled pork taco <laughs> i'm gonna get my and, wooden flag yeah hey. i'm gonna get my bucky's cookies the my nuggets buck- my, my nuggets yeah. are there cookies good i've never had their oh, oh god i will tell you this here this I can go on all day about this. Yeah, but I will say this. The number one thing, they have a plastic little tub or jar, and it's just uh, Bucky's Butter Cookies. Oh, Don't get the lemon or whatever. You brought some of those. Oh, yes. They're little yeah. mini, they're little no. mini, like buttery, like sugaryish cookies, and uh, they're just like light, sugar fluffy. I, no, they're butter cookies. Butter, my best. Butter. Don't, yeah. don't. Best share. thing butter, is, butter. is go oh. go to H E B. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Get their like uh, Mootopia. And just pour it in like cereal. It is the best cinnamon what, toast crunch you have what's ever Mutopia? had. Like cookie 
Cookie Crisp. It is the oh, best cookie, cookie crisp. crisp in the yeah. entire world. Mutopia. Yeah. It is H E B's milk that is got like fifty yes. percent less glucose, uh, lactose free, fifty uh. percent uh, less sugar, and fifty percent more protein, mm. and it tastes amazing. Send your dad some of those cookies, and I think he might add that to the list. Yeah. No. So good. so so I think so. Part of it is like he's like diabetic so like he likes uh, he like okay I, that, don't get it no 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 that's like that's like one of the other things that he likes yeah. that the be- he's like beef jerky uh, he's like good i'm not having carbs <laughs> <laughs> but i'm eating four pounds of jerky eat once a month and you got that, any more of that like uh, ghost pepper <laughs> and that is good that is good protein is better yeah okay and on that note um yeah any uh parting words why don't we well actually let's start with uh christopher yeah, all right uh us. nick pleasure man it's great to have you on um i selfishly would love to collaborate with you at some point let's do it um mm. i either design and or print or heat press you just let me know um i love the story um, thanks man and then this Aww. what was it gent Gentleness. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Gentleness. Can you get closer to the table? Oh my God! Did I do that whole entire scene? Hi. There. It's because of your You're trunk. It's, uh, it's your trunk. <laughs> His Hi, third America. leg, guys. Come on. Uh, the All third right. leg. Um, yeah. No. So thank you for being on, uh, as guests. Uh, and then, of course, Luis. Uh, you have you provide an amazing space. So thank you for that, uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm over here, dude. Uh, here. Beautiful. <laughs> Attendance. What, what, Joe. When's your next birthday? Uh, and how old will you be? Um, yeah, so uh, back to the question for you at some point. Uh, would you consider, if you haven't changed your journaling in sense of uh, writing positive and not spending energy on negative? Ooh, yeah. um, Ooh. I would love to know an answer. It doesn't have to be right now. Uh, Splat Blaster. Um, Luis, thank you for introducing oh, yeah. me to Splat Blaster. Did you think of the answer? Or will, are we teasing it for the next no, no, episode? No, no, no. It, it's one. just, again, like, next can we word it one more time? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm leaving it there. Um, stop and then, stop uh, thinking negative. What, Focus okay. on the yeah. positive. Yeah, 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 and one thing I do want to be consistent on is if you're listening to this podcast for whatever your reasons, uh, Jiu-Jitsu veteran, anybody, if you need somebody to talk to and listen to, reach out to us, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We want to get you on here because uh, uh, not only from the mental mental and physical side of improvement, uh, get out there, find a jiu-jitsu gym. Uh, it will help. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Those are some beautiful words. That was very beautiful. Mr. Taranta. Oh, I thought we were going to go in a circle. No. <laughs> no. Um, no, thank you so much. Uh, this has been so fun. Um, you know, I've been here before. I've like me and my wife reported a podcast that we never post. Apparently, uh, we gotta be better on that. Uh, but we got baby coming on the way, so it's all weird. Congrats! Um, Congrats! Thank Congrats. you. Yeah, thirty-three days. It's like time is ticking. Um, mm. Nervous, but it's, we're we're going off on a tangent on that. So I'll just keep pushing through. Congrats! Uh, thank you. Um, thank you for having me. It's been uh, I've been very appreciative of all this time. This has been super fun. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, the, the site launched yesterday. Um, I kept pushing it back and I think trying to just like going with it and like doing the thing. I think a lot of times we kind of get in our head and overthink the process and it's almost like just put out like the simplest form of it to yeah. see if it's effective. Um, you know, I wanted everything to be perfect starting off. And I think that like perfect is the enemy of good and without being out there and like putting myself out there, like just kind of like, Oh, I'm going to wait until everything's right. Like it, it doesn't work it and you can't happens. like, sh- first of all, yeah. Right. Like it's never going to be perfect and you're never going to get it right. Exactly. But also like, it's like keeping it to yourself, right? Yes. Like you have to like let it out into the world and like see what other people think and let other people interact with it. And, uh, it's been a really good two days so far. Um, thankfully there's been a great community here in Austin and a lot of people who've been supportive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so give us a follow on Instagram, Toronto Sport, T A R A N T A Sport. You can follow me on Instagram, Nikki Toronto, or the website is torontosport.com. I pulled it up, Toronto Sport.com. <sighs> Look at those good looking people. I also put it in the description um, uh, at the end. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, well, well Chris, I guess well. I'll go. Um, Check on me. That's why I like accountability partners, working more on the mental health, anyone out there. Um, that's why I like to talk about it, um, ask for help, talk about it. 
have good people like Chris and these guys here hold you accountable. I'll work on the more positive thank you because it makes me a better person. If I'm a better person, then I'm for better um, for people I care about, like you guys, my family, and, and everyone else. Um, Nick, it, you, you know how I feel about you, man. Every, I mean, I, I've written so many messages on your Instagram over the years they about. Get a little awkward. So yeah. Gross. So, <laughs> how, you know. Oh, you get those messages too. <laughs> uh, um, is photos. I love. I love your BJJ story. Everyone has one. It's a connection, I, and I think another connection is just. Um, I think we'd still be connected without BJJ because it just seems like BJJ attracts really cool people usually yeah. with cool stories. So I don't mm-hmm. know. It's a weird thing I'm trying to figure out. Congratulations to your company. Um, I love that I have a shirt already because <laughs> I could just say I was there I at the beginning. Um, I Those love, were limited. Yeah, I love. Can you make a Russian one? <laughs> yeah, I love where you're going with that. Um, it's inspirational because Luis here has been helping me launch my little idea. Um, good luck to your future. I know you're going to be great. We talked about also H-E-B. What was H-E-B? <laughs> Bucky's. Um, your dad's love for jerky. <laughs> um, <laughs> we talked Hi, li- Dad. <laughs> we talked about elephants in the trunks and being gentle yeah. because you never know what anyone's going through. We don't know their mm. stories exactly, so treat people with kindness. Um, we tried to dive into Turkish wrestling, but you <laughs> quickly We kind of all beat over It's like... And got a little awkward. There might be kids <laughs> listening or watching. And then, of course, coffee crew. But go out there. Be gentle. Be gentle to yourself, too. Be gentle to people that you know. Be gentle to people that are strangers. It just makes the world a better place. And thank you for yeah, allowing yeah. us to have yeah. this yeah. opportunity. I love it. I love it. Yeah. This really fuels me. It uh, fills my heart. And uh, one more time. www.taranta. T-A-R-A-N-T-A. Sport. Dot com go buy some gear let's support uh small business especially uh nick here we love him and mm-hmm. uh yeah, i we got wish him the best be and we're more. here to support <laughs> you brother <and laughs> make sure you reach out and uh yeah ask for help like be be uh, persistent about it just be uh tenacious about it and uh and it'll spread like fire i have a like joke about is. i real quickly i have a joke with the word tenacious okay and we'll am i a through. white zebra or a uh, oh, a white zebra with I, black stripes I, or black zebra with white stripes? Depends so, on the um, because we'll talk about taboo next time or taboo. Taboo. We yeah, forgot taboo. about the taboo. Yeah, that's we're, okay. at, we're out of time. Otherwise, yeah, we would. So Let's next time. We'll table we'll, it. We'll yes. And then I'll tell the zebra joke next next week. Yeah, as well. Again? Yeah. Well, no, I never I never got through it. because This is like your third time. episode trying to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, on that note, let do this this. on three (laughs) ready and on three one two three it's like it's like Popeye I am what I am (laughs) 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 (